guys welcome back to my channel so today's video will be me re uh basically revamping this wig um i'm gonna show you guys how i clean my lace as well as how i wash and style my wigs so today um as you can see this frontal has some areas that have makeup left on it or glue so i'm going to show you guys how i remove those products so what i do is wet the lace and then i go in with my shampoo and my brush and i scrub the product in now when I say product I mean the shampoo into the lace now with this step you want to be very gentle and careful with this process because if you are too rough you can rip or damage the lace and you don't want to do that because you cannot repair it you have to actually replace the full frontal Now that the lace um, has set for a while, I'm going and just rinsing out the shampoo and just rubbing out any little areas that the glue or product could not get out. But what I'm doing here is prepping the hair to get ready to be washed and I'm just rinsing it out, combing through with my hands as well as the brush. You wanna make sure you're doing these steps whenever you're washing hair, but especially curly hair because it can easily get tangled and you want to eliminate as less, well eliminate the tangling as possible because it just makes it harder for you to wash the hair but as you can see i'm going with my brush and just combing through the hair just making sure that it's ready to be washed and then when it is ready i will begin the process for shampooing Here we're going in with one of my favorite products is the Aussie shampoo and we're going to use that as the um, main well not the main we're going to just use that to wash the hair out and what I usually do here is I just wet the hair in, in like sections with my hand I massage the shampoo in and I just comb my hands through um, this way works best for me now if you know a better process please comment below give me some ideas because I would love to try out different ways you know I like to work smarter not harder but I usually just work it in with my hands in different areas and then I just comb through and work it I don't like to wash and scrub the hair like I would someone's actual scalp or hair if I was doing someone's hair just because I feel like when I do that it kind of makes the wig get real messy and that what can cause it to get tangled and I'm trying to avoid those especially when working with curly hair so I definitely um, did not do that in these steps but I wanted to show you guys how the curl pattern just returned back to its natural state and this is just one of the many reasons why I like Jessica's hair because the curl pattern never changed, not once when I washed it, not once when I used different products to um, you know, put in the hair because I use different type of techniques to try to make sure like, cause once you wash the hair and you, it dries, the hair does not stay the same with curly hair. So I've been using different products to try to obtain that curl pattern to stay like it was when it was wet. And the curl pattern never changed, the texture never changed, which is something that I feel like is a plus when you're buying curly hair. So that's why I wanted to show you guys how the curl pattern stayed the same. But what I'm doing here, guys, is just continue to rinse out the product. It takes a while because you want to continue to wash your hair out until your water becomes clear or close to it. And throughout washing your hair, you want to make sure you continue to comb through your hair. Again, this just helps the product get out in areas that you may not be able to see, as well as continue to keep the hair tangle free. Alright guys, and here I wanted to show you guys the amount of shedding that happened with the hair once I've washed it and combed through it. Um, I'm not too surprised. I'm not taken back by the shedding because it's curly hair. I kind of expect a little bit more shedding than normal. But this is how the hair looks after it's been washed. And now we're going to be preparing it to... Um, basically for the leave-in conditioner this conditioner that i'm using is the aussie um, leave-in curl miracle worker and i love their products because aussie's miracle curls um they have a co-wash and i've used that before but i saw this um leave-in conditioner and because i had good you know response with the co-wash i said let me try the leave-in and see how that works with this wig and guys 
it did its thing like it did exactly what it said it was going to do miracle curls and my curls look almost even better than before so i would definitely recommend the aussie basically their whole line because they have so many products like you can i mean they have everything from free spray to shampoo conditioner to all types of products that can help enhance your hair so i would definitely advise aussie hair from not just for your wigs but for your natural hair as well because i'm just really working the product in i'm combing through i'm using my hands i want to make sure that i'm getting this leave-in conditioner in all of the hair so i'm just combing it working it in throughout the hair but that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys i do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm hoping you guys enjoying these videos i'm giving to you guys but guys, if you made this far, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And as always, guys, stay true and stay you. And I will see you guys in the next video.